If you ask most people with a spinal cord injury, what is your biggest problem? Interestingly enough, most of them will not answer the fact that I have to use a wheelchair. Most of them will say, the problems with my bladder, the problems with my back. Those are the things that really affect people's quality of life. Coloplast is the world's leading supplier of products for people with intimate healthcare conditions, stomas, incontinence or chronic wounds. We develop our products in close dialogue with the people who use them. Together we come up with solutions that meet their special needs and make life easier. Back in 1954, nurse Elisa Sorensen designed the world's first adhesive ostomy bag for her sister. Elisa's approach was simple. She listened to her sister and designed a solution to meet her needs. Now, 50 years later, and with subsidiaries all over the world, our approach to product development is still the same. Design matters because people who use our type of products use them 24-7 for the rest of their life. Uh, so in that sense, it's very important for us to create an experience where people feel comfortable with using the products where they also feel that whenever they take a product out, it's not a nuisance, it's something which is helping them getting their life back. Uh, design matters in our products because it is about the, the feeling a, a user has when they're in contact with our products. If we can give them a good experience, making it appeal to what they believe is, that fits their personality. Of course, the difference between a situation of not being able to control your bladder, for example, and being able to use something which puts you into contr in control is enormous because it's the difference between having a life and not having a life. It's the difference between being able to go to work and leave the house or go shopping, go on holiday and not being able to do any of those things. So that's why Coloplast products, for me, it, they're not just, they don't just make life easier. They, they make life as I want to live it possible for me to do. It was uh, on a weekend when I was working as handicap assistant for a girl, disabled, spinal cord, disabled girl. We were talking about catheters and she said that they are so long and slippery, so she often drops them. I thought about our conversation about catheters. I thought, why not uh, halven the catheters into two? Because they're certainly long enough for women. That's where the idea was born for SpeedyCat Compact. The user cannot always tell you, this is what we need. Um, they normally have a solution and they cope with that and then they have minor changes but if you really want to make innovation then you have to go in and translate what they're saying and try to see how can we put that in in a in a way that will really support support them in the future it's the first product designed only for women it's a small very small and uh, it's a discreet product a normal catheter is uh, open like this and uh, is quite slippery. It's, you have to hold it on the connector, otherwise if you hold here you will drop the catheter. It's almost impossible to hold here. Compact female is very small. Take it out like this and it's ready to use. In the beginning, I would prefer to get go, go to their environment, to their house, um, to be able to get an understanding of the person, and they would be in their natural environment and making them feel more safe. And sometimes when they, are, they feel safe enough, they would let me observe them actually use our products, and that's quite an intimate situation, cramping up in their bathroom that's really small. I have had mastoma in... 18 years now. I was operated in 1992 and since then I have lived a 
quite ordinary life. When I go out, I want people to see me as a person because I am not a patient anymore. For many people, I think it is a taboo that they don't, they are not open about it. I mean, it should be a natural thing to tell people that you have a stoma. My hope is that it will be normal, as normal as wearing glasses or a hearing aid. We are quite conscious that we are in an area where there are taboos. Many people don't like to have products around because they, they find them embarrassing to other people. But if you make real a real effort on your design and, and thereby you, you create some cool products. People also find it more natural to put the products or to leave the products out in the open and that's part of breaking up the taboo. Today the, the market is very much um, a market which is, which is reimbursed, which means that the public is paying for most of what people are, are using. Um, I don't think that will be the same in the future. I think that uh, we are all putting much higher demands on things. We would like to be more individual. And therefore, I think that you'll see that the kind of products that we have today that are kind of been seen as institutional products, in, in a sense, are becoming more and more products where people want to have a say. Uh, they probably also will, would be willing to pay. Uh, so in that sense, the patient will not anymore be a patient or a user. They will be a consumer. Uh, and uh, that puts demands on design and, uh, and that puts demands on us.